Yeah, Tony said half an hour, dude. No, I said about an hour. I thought Jake said half an hour. No, I said an hour. He said an hour, dude. I did too, but then you said half an hour, and I'm like, what? Yeah, like you said half an hour. I was like, I, I have No, I said hour. I have about an hour. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I said. As well. I said, like, I got like an hour or so, because I still got to do some stuff. And I give my dog a bath, because she got flakes and shit, so I got to Damn. Yeah, what's that? Hey, pause that. I want to watch it with you two later, Timon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is 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 she coming on too? I don't dog, know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I already went live on my end, so like, tell us she can join. Well, she probably has already I heard. Her, me I, sent, I sent her a link. She can she can join if she wants to. Join us. Join us. Join us. Yeah, this lamp, this lamp sucks, dude. I need to buy a new one and actually take care of it. All right. Let me get started on my end as well. Ready? In five, four, three, two. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Super Talks. Today, we are going to be talking about white girl films. Specifically, Mean Girls, because it's the best one out of all of them. Don't come at me. Um, in the hood. Boys in the Hood is a white girl film. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, I guess Boys in the Hood as well. Um, with me today is Jake. Yeah, what's going on? I was kidding. Me. I thought oh, Boys in the Hood. Because the, cause the Boys in the Hood are always acting hard. All right. So, and then our special guest, as always, is Timon. Hi. All right, so uh, which one would you guys like to start with? I was kidding about Boys in the Hood. We got to talk about that. No, I, I, I'm, I was kidding about Boys in the Hood. No, I'm asking which which white girl film would you guys want to start with? It's supposed to be Mean Girls, right? That's what originally prompted Mean this. Girls, all, all like Legally Blonde. Fucking, yeah. I haven't uh, seen Legally Blonde in fucking years, so I mean. Bro, I watch Legally Blonde at least once a year. <laughs> I give no fucks. I will I'm watch that. I'm gonna give you a random one. Sleepover. I've watched that. It's actually really good. I've, it's the I've one never, with um. I've never uh, seen Vega. Yeah, that's when the one with to, the you know when they tried to pass her off as white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do that with. They, that's how they, they do that with they, the teen actresses. They try to pass them off as yeah. white. Well, when they're white passing, they really try to make it seem like they're not Hispanic. He did that with J-Lo for a few times. I mean, like, J-Lo's not even that white passing. Like, she's brown, brown. One of my buddy, one of my comedian buddies, Jose, is fucking, like, if, if you were to, like, walk past him, you had no idea he's Mexican. I have a, I have a cousin who's white passing, <laughs> and, like, he got <laughs> so mad at me because I told him that he's white passing. He's like, I'm not fucking white passing, and I'm like, you are. Like, it's not a bad thing. Like, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. All right. So, which white girl from do we want to start with, guys? All right, well, I'm good with Mean Girls. Oh, uh, you want to start off with Mean Girls? All right, and then we'll lead on to other ones. I thought we would, we would start with like 13 going 30, but okay. Oh, go ahead. If you want to start with that. Yeah, you're saying uh, you're saying okay, go ahead because we both love the fuck out of Jennifer Gardner. Nah, that's what you want. I mean, it's been a minute since I've seen it. I've never so seen it. In, so I've never seen in. it. You've so never watched it. Thirteen Going Thirty. Uh, uh-uh. uh so bro, like, it's like Jennifer Gardner's version of like big in a way. Yeah, and it's actually really good. I enjoy yeah, it. She's like, Mark like, Ruffalo's in it. Her birthday wish no to like grow up or something on her thirteenth birthday, yeah. and she wakes up. She's like thirty. Yeah, and she has like this hot guy in her bed, and she's like thinking that she's still a thirteen year old, not realizing oh, that she's thirty wow. now. So like, so like, like he's talking to her like he's her boyfriend because that's what he is. Boyfriend, husband, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, get I totally get it. <laughs> thirty, flirty, and thriving. Is that the trailer? No, this is the this is the actual movie, but it's not. Yeah, he, he he's actually put it on. Um, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. It it was like a good little um, 
like in early 2000s. Look at, look at, I just skipped to 1241. It was 30, flirty, and thriving. <laughs> wow. Like, oh, my God. That was so good. That was so good. You, like, skipped to a scene and got to what she quoted. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Yo, you should join us and talk talking about these, man. Like you were able to quote it, and then we just got the quote right up on the yeah. film. And like he never watched the film, so like he just randomly got onto it. I just randomly clicked over because I wanted to get past the credits, and I'm like, I'll yeah. skip into a d deeper part of the movie, and it happened to be thirty flirty and fucking. Uh, this right. is the scene that I'm talking about where she wakes up as a thirty year old. And like her her man is right is right in the house too, and then she's like, "What the fuck's going on?" I, and um, what what I like about this film is that like um, <laughs> um, is like she looks at her current life as her in her thirties, um, and she's like, "Wow." I'm such a bitch. I was such a bitch before I became my 13 year old self because literally she was a mean girl after, oh. um, made her wish like the, the, her that she didn't, um, grow up as became a mean girl because she made her wish out of, um, an embarrassing moment that happened. So it turns out that was her evil origin story, I guess. And she became a villain up until her 13-year-old self came into her 30-year-old body. And it's oh, just her man. trying to manage life, you know. You know, as a as a 30-year-old, as a 13-year-old in a 30-year-old body. Hey, dude, her boyfriend's hot. Uh, he is. He's a boy toy. <laughs> a regular old Shawn Michaels, some would say. Tony's thirsty as fuck for that guy. What'd you say? I said Tony's thirsty as hell for that guy. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> um, I, I would like to say that Super Wieners does not own the copyrights to these films. Uh, we would gladly say that that um, whatever company owns them is copyrighted. Does that work? I don't know. Yeah. Does that work? Gotta, As I was like, it, you know, I think you got to put it in writing. On, on, so, so I've ex I exported my Twitch streams onto YouTube from like the the stuff that we did. Like, I know I got notifications of it. <laughs> so like I I did that today, and the Space Jam, the Space Jam one where I like just showed clips like the whole movie throughout the thing only got a tiny little flag on it and I had to like I think I had to cut out the porky pig rap. I'm not sure. Even that was the I, best part. Even though we played the porky pig rap on the Space Jam part one. So that was the best part of the movie though. The porky pig rap was the best part. But I'm not sure what part it actually had to cut out, but it was just like a small little portion I had to cut out and and it, it actually should be up right now. It is. I, I I saw um I saw that you posted all of them all at once today. <laughs> you posted all your all yeah. your videos. I just found out I could do that, so I was all like, "Oh hell yeah!" Yeah, I just exported from Twitch and then boop. Yeah, like, it's it just one click, and I'm like, "Oh God shit!" Damn. Uh, yeah, and it's so quick. But yes, everyone, watch thirteen going thirty. Uh, also, um. Cool parts of the, of that film is that like she realized how much of a bad person she was. She tries changing, um, becomes friends with actually. Uh, this is the part that was like that was like super cute within the film. She becomes friends with like the thirteen year old neighbor that is above her, I think, and like she has a sleepover with all the girls, and it's like they see they sing um, girls just want to have fun, and it's like such a wholesome moment. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while since I've seen that. I think it's been like three years, but I can still remember it like right here. I I'm sure she remembers wasn't it. Wasn't Ruffalo like her childhood friend or something like that? They had a crush yeah, on him? I said that earlier that like he was yeah. the love interest. Yeah, but he's like, but yeah, he, yeah, he was her childhood friend. It's funny he was a chubby, a chubby boy. 
and um and then like it wound up being mark ruffalo who is a handsome man like later on in the future yeah. and then um like in the middle it's kind of sad like because she's trying to like make up for the bullshit that hap that she did um between her 13 to 30s um oh yeah <laughs> this scene is hilarious she's flirting with that kid because she still has the mind of a 13 year old so she's yeah. thinking that the kid is yeah, cute that kid is hot yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's gotta be so fucked up and like trying to do though, because like I imagine you obviously do you're that trying to play Gardner, but yeah. yeah, you're playing a thirteen year old. Yeah. Like, and, that's like you're trying to hit out, and you're trying to think fucking like, little kids are fucking hot. You know, like that's gotta be weird in a meanwhile, way. Meanwhile, that kid probably watches this movie every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Hell yeah. Gonna, yeah. Jennifer yeah. Gardner hit on me. Fuck yeah. If I were in, uh, in a movie where Jennifer Gardner hit on me, I'd watch that clip all the fucking time. Fucking show it to my friends every day. I'd like, be like, you see that? Me. Jennifer Gardner hit on me. But yeah, uh, what would you rate this film, Jake, since Wiener hasn't seen this film? Uh, it's been a while, so I can't really properly rate it, but I guess I'll give it about a six because of that. I'd have to watch it again, but it is an enjoyable movie. I mean, it's like oh, yeah, it's so one of those uh, mid-2000s, um, you know, comedies, I guess. So I give it yeah. a six. I, I give mean, it, it a... It Mean Girls energy, but, you know, yeah. not, as not as good as Mean Girls. I Migo, think it's because like, Migo's more like a cult classic. Where it's 13 going on 30. It's just like you watch on the airplane more than anything. She gives it an 8.6. That's kind of disrespectful. I say on the airplane. It's more than that. But um, I give this movie an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I like how um, this is going to be major spoilers for you, Wiener. That's um, fine. That's fine. I'll I'll, I'll um, end up and probably have a good. Time. It's how in this timeline, um, she doesn't really get what she wants, um, uh, which is Mark Ruffalo, the her childhood friend that she, um, you know, falls in love with at this point, um, but he's engaged to be married to someone else, and he tells her, "I can't." Give up the person I'm about to marry for you. So I, I Dude, this is this is the era that Mark Ruffalo was like that that he was that constant romantic interest in movies. Yes, like this. this was <laughs> his every, moment. Every romantic comedy, the male love interest was Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. I mean, I, I was like, what the fuck are you doing in Zodiac, dude? <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it if, like, my love interest or like Mark Ruffalo, I'd be like, yeah, I, 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 I'm okay with it. But um, yeah, I like how she didn't get what she wants, like, at, in that timeline. But that she makes a wish to go back to her 13 year old life, and she does. And at the end, she winds up marrying Mark Ruffalo. Hell yeah, yeah. But I like how he didn't mess with that timeline and. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and Mark Ruffalo, uh, his character was a character that stayed to his morals and principles, and he was like, I, I can't do this with you. I have responsibility to the woman I'm marrying. He's got responsibilities, man. Exactly. Which I'm like, oh, man. I love this guy. I can see why he, she wants to pick up the the <laughs> the um the marriage. Yeah, I'm gonna end up watching this movie. It's like, dude, I'm wa I'm I'm watching Jennifer Garner in this scene without a bra on. But if I could, like, I'm gonna watch this movie. You're gonna get in trouble later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We got through uh, 13 going on 30. It, it's honestly a really good film. Like, I'm sorry for anyone who I spoiled it to, but definitely watch it. The spoilers that I gave. 
doesn't take away from the film, really. Just watch it. It's fun. It's enjoyable. You'll fall in love with the with all the characters except for like that one bitch. Which it's funny, like the character who plays the bitch, like in every movie and TV show she's in, she either plays the very supportive best friend or the the bitch. That's literally like what she plays. You know, like sometimes you just get typecast, you know? Yeah. All right, what's the next film that y'all want to talk about? Do you guys want to name one? You want to do? Go ahead. What you saying? No, go ahead, Jake. That was it. You want to do Legally Blonde? That's another. I did want to do. I did want. That's what I was about to say. Was Legally Blonde? But what was your thing? No, I I was gonna say Legally Blonde. Oh fuck! Legally Blonde. All right. Legally Blonde. It is. Oh yeah. So long though. So, but ten out of ten for its genre. It's a ten out of ten. Legally Blonde is is a cult classic. Um, Bruiser's Bill, Bruiser's Bill should be passed a hundred percent out of the time. If you don't get that reference, it's a Legally Blonde two reference. I never saw the second one. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Dude, I'll I'll watch I'll watch it later. I'll watch it later. I love how, like the video that she sent in for her. <laughs> the the video that she sent in for the proposal is hilarious. Yeah. L. Woods, welcome to Harvard. <laughs> you see, that's exactly what he said. Welcome to Harvard. <laughs> oh man, this film, uh, it's so good because it, it just makes fun of the tropes of like the the blue eyed blonde, the like the dumb blonde type of stereotypes and everything. And she isn't the bitch like how in most films usually the blue eyed blonde is is the bitch in the film. And it turns out to be the brunette smart pants that is the the bitch for the most part. But then they become best friends. Any anything to add, guys? No, it's I barely remember. I just remember she went to college, she had the dog. And yeah, I it just it's been so yeah. long since I've seen it, I swear. I think I've only seen it like once though. I I really enjoy this film. Just because, like, she can't, she went to law school just to, like, just be close with her boyfriend. And then ex-boyfriend. she ended up fucking, like, she ended, yeah, ex boyfriend. And then, but she ended up, like, ended up, like, crushing it. She ended up yeah. crushing law school in, like, a total unorthodox way while being, like, cute and sassy. The while whole- being true to herself. She didn't change herself. Yeah, to make it, she didn't yeah. fake it to make it. Yeah, yeah, she like, like, she didn't understand a lick of this shit going in, and like, and she was a, just a total outcast. Like, she came in with <laughs> that. Her, that was that part. Like, is right hilarious. now, she's coming in with her prissy ass dog and fucking whatever, and everyone's just gawking. Like, who the fuck is this bitch? You know, like she's she's got like like she doesn't belong there. Like or like she or like just the. Everybody would just gawk at this total amount of extra that yeah. we're witnessing, you know. Like, I know she brought in plants and her own furniture and shit into her dorm, like, which is probably like a like a five by six, like an eight by six dorm. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> like, no, you're not doing this. I do find it weird. That that um the the stereotypical gay man that you know Hollywood does is in this film. I'm like, oh, I forgot about this. Damn. Well, was he like really flamboyant? He was overly flamboyant. You know the scene where they were doing the bend and snap because she was like upset with um school, so she went to get a mani pedi at um uh you know where Stifler's mom worked at. <laughs> they haven't canceled this movie yet. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, they haven't canceled this movie. Like the dude was like, "Oh my god, the bandit snap works every time." And like that was the only scene he was in. Like, like <laughs> I'm saying, just for that scene, 
Yeah. <laughs> and then he's never seen again, That's which is so bad. fucking weird. That's he had a talking bad. scene just to say that. Yeah, just to be stereotypically gay. Yeah, same with like the Hispanic, uh, the Hispanic guy. Um, like, you know, where she was like tapping her foot uh, uh, during uh, the law proce- uh, procession or whatever it's called. And then, and then he turns around and he, and he goes, and he goes, um, don't stamp your last season's Jimmy Choo's at me, honey. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then like, and then like he walks away and she's like, and she's like, these aren't last season. <laughs> And then, like, they literally just build up a case against him off the fact that he's gay. Is this Stein? I forgot he was in this movie. Yeah, yeah, Stein is in this film. He was... <laughs> he, just he, he was a sexual harasser in this film. She sprayed She sprayed the fucking and shit with the perfume and he smelled it. Yeah, and strike. <laughs> well, the legends fuck up. Yeah. And, strike. and Firestorm working on this. What's that? It's a resume. <laughs> that, that part is funny. And like he's like the, the coolest guy in the movie. I don't know why she went to Harvard for that piece of shit ex-boyfriend of hers that, that like fucking broke up with her in the fucking worst way possible. Oh two, my god, I hated him. That was two <laughs> Arrowverse actors in the same room together on completely different shows that will never work together because they came on in different exactly. time. Welcome, Britt. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, Britt Woods. <laughs> it's a joke. Get it? Yeah, um, I get it. <laughs> thank you for having me tonight. Um, it's an honor to be on the show. Um, yeah, I think this is a good topic. <laughs> <laughs> you, it was my you, idea. You told me earlier that you inspired this topic. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I the- can't help it. I do. Did you? Um, what? You did? Did I what? Inspire this topic? I, no, I'm just an inspiration for like white girl movies. All this out. is your idea. No, because like I, I've wanted to do a, a white girl movie um, episode for like a month already. <laughs> well, there you go. But like, and, and we I got to it. Movies. Like my life is is so romantic and chaotic. Like it's just it's just exactly like one of those movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Except right now, right now yours is a Tyler Perry film where Tim, <laughs> Timon Timon is is is, is the guy <laughs> that you end up with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I love Tyler Perry, though. Maybe it could be a... I'm not a fan of Tyler Perry. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm not either. No. I- I'm not big on Tyler Perry either. Uh, but every now and then, he makes me chuckle. Yeah. I think it's dramatic stuff better than his com- like comedic stuff. Like, oh, I agree. Same, like Daddy's Little Girls. That shit pissed me oh, off. Oh, that was such like, a good man, film. Fuck this guy. <laughs> And All right. Superman yes. Not on the rights. <laughs> <laughs> Super talks and and Wiener cast does not own oh. the rights to this. But yeah, I, I like how like he uh, in in Legally Blonde, like the guy that she ends up with, like he he um, was constantly like you know pushing her to do better. It's fucking like, Luke Wilson. He was supportive. He was supportive. Yeah. And fucking Luke Wilson, dude. Like, I would, I would date Luke Wilson right now. Like, right now, I would date Luke Wilson. <laughs> well, he barely aged. That's why. <laughs> he still looks the same. He does. He He's does. too busy trying to keep a bunch of kids from getting themselves killed. Exactly. Yeah, he's he's the leader. He's not the technical leader, but he's he's the leader of the fucking... Uh, the JSA right now. You know, damn well he should be in jail because why are you letting these fifteen year olds go out and fight crime like this? Oh yeah. I mean a lot can be said about like a lot of parenting in the in these films in these shows. <laughs> in the CW shows, yeah, dude. Like 
uh, uh, Star Girl doesn't technically count as a CW show, it's but CW it is show. at the same time. Like well, the only no, deep dad is Superman. We've, we've talked about this. Uh, CW Crisis on Infinite Earths made all Warner Brothers properties that include the DC universe. Everything is canon. So technically, yep, they kill off technically, characters Space so they could Jam, use them in the movies. technically, Space Jam A New Legacy is canon with the fucking DCEU. DC so so because so, so since Luke Wilson is on Star Girl, they mean it's legally blonde is canon. No, that legally does not. blonde and old school are both canon to the DC universe. No, that does <laughs> not mean anything. There might be some which means tie-in. since Luke Wilson is the brother of Owen Wilson, that means Loki is also canon. They're all, they're <laughs> no, all, no, all, no, the fucking no. reaches that you guys are going through no, right now. No, 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 my Space Jam was not a reach. This is Jake's just fucking trolling me. Change your name to Elongated Man because the fucking reach. <laughs> so we we done with Lily Blood. What else do you want to say about it? What would you guys rate it? Pretty high. I like how she perseveres and like no. people get work. Like, they don't typecast her as this dumb blonde, and I think that's a pretty dope story, especially if you're watching it in the eye of a young girl. Like, I think that's very powerful. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think that's too low. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. This is Tony's favorite movie of all time. I wouldn't say of all time, but it's up there. It's up there. Breakfast Club is my favorite movie of all time. Breakfast? That's not a really? white girl movie. That's a that not. Movie I'm just saying my favorite film of all time. That is random as hell, but I respect it. Breakfast Club is a good movie. How is that random? It's just random. I respect it, though. Breakfast <laughs> Club is a good movie. Respect. Respect. All right, cool. All right, what would you rate it, Jake? I don't know if I can rate it, because I don't remember a lot of it. Like, I swear I've not seen this as else, like, maybe... 12. <laughs> All right, Wiener. I'll give it a, you know what? Because of that, I'll give it a, I'll give it a six again because I can't fairly rate it because I'd have to rewatch it again. It's been uh, a man, you and your bullshit ratings, Jake. Dude. I know. You just want to give it the average score so you, you don't look lie. bad regardless. This, this, this movie, okay. this it. movie is actually one of the movies that made me realize that, like, dude, these chick flicks are actually pretty awesome. Heck yeah. I never really wanted to give them a shot, dude. Like, I was telling Tony earlier before we were recording, we're like, the only reason I do not like Walk to Remember, even though it's a fantastic fucking film, is I saw it with my fucking freshman year girlfriend, and I was like, 15 and edgy and i'm like i don't want to see a chick flick we saw that oh, shit no. in theaters and it was and i like you can't appreciate and, something like and, that and, 15. And i actually I did. enjoyed watching it but i did not want to admit that i loved the movie i was like <laughs> was stupid like even though like i saw like the titanic in sixth grade or whatever but i loved that movie and i didn't think of it as a chick flick i thought of it as like side note titanic is top five all time for me but go ahead I, I just thought of it. I was all I do. This is like, cause like it was, I was in sixth grade at the time when this movie came out and we were studying the Titanic, like at, at like the same time this movie came out. And like, so we, like, we all like saw it as like, just something that I like, that's like, Historical. like homework, homework kind of, but it like, it, the story was also <laughs> fascinating. So like, I, 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 I just saw it as a movie like that with some romance and action and whatever built to into it. And I, as, as an edgy 12 year old, I really enjoyed the scene <laughs> when people were falling off the boat and hitting the propellers and fucking knocking into shit as they were falling and people dying. And like, I, I really enjoyed that shit as a fucking 12 year old. So like, I don't know, like, and here's the thing about me is I actually enjoyed these films when I was a child. So I'm like, I didn't even try to hide it as a teenager or anything. <laughs> I'm always fucking I'm love like, Titanic. I don't give I'm shit. like, no, I never liked Titanic, and I I've still don't like Titanic. 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 Fuck Titanic. All time for me. Um, <laughs> nah, nah, you're wrong. Titanic is sure. shit. No, no, dude, I watched film. I watched Titanic recently. I think maybe like a year ago. I should have died. I was all like, yeah, dude, this movie is still awesome. Titanic Rose should have died. 
Bro should have died. Well, they have enough interesting real life stories that they should like they could have incorporated those more. I know they did kind of, but Oh yeah, they could have they could have they could have they said they could have they could have totally made sequels of the Titanic of other people's perspectives and like, did, did and, like that for real. instead of the instead of the actual Titanic two that happened. I had a what? dream that there was a. We'll what is, we'll watch it. We'll watch it sometime. It's not worth mentioning right now. It what's the Titanic two? I had a dream yeah, where there awful, was a Titanic. Awful. I had a dream where there uh there was a Titanic two where Jack actually survived and uh, but he lost his memory. So he's kind of just like in uh, in the United States, just like living uh, there dude, without dude, his memory. Dude, there's a fan made trailer about that where like Jack survived and they fucking they find him in like an iceberg underwater and they fucking bring him up and they melt him out and then he and then they just show clips of like catch me if you can and all this other <laughs> he's, he's like because he's a frozen person and he escapes and he's on the run and he's like trying to find Rose. And like when he finds Rose, she's like already old and like that, like dying and whatever. Like so he's Steve Rogers. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve and, Rogers. Dude, like there's this whole trailer. You can find it on YouTube. It's fucking hilarious. They're like it's just some fan yeah. trailer of Titanic but, uh, two, and they just play all these different movies of Leonardo DiCaprio fucking clips of him being like, like action sequences and dramatic stuff. Like dude, it's so fucking hilarious. Like, I thought the dream was so real that I thought that it was an actual film. Oh, that's what's that's crazy. Awesome. It was like, I talked to people about it and they're like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm, and then I had to look it up and I was like, that was just a dream. <laughs> that plot synopsis sounds exactly like the new Netflix movie that came out. Um, the last letter from your lover. Me and my mother watched it. It was pretty dope. I should probably watch it. I, I'm a huge fan of rom com films. They they have they have a special place for me. Yeah. Tony like to spend his Friday nights with strawberry ice cream. <laughs> First watch. off, it's rom-coms. it's chocolate fudge ice cream or vanilla bean. Get it right. She's in his bathrobes with the avocado mask. I don't like avocado like that. You should. Avocado's delicious. It no, it's not. gross. I hate it. <laughs> Avocado is terrible. I live in I live in California, and I'm saying like my whole chest. Avocado is disgusting. I'm not about to spend a dollar for just one avocado. Fuck that. Yeah, I love avocado. I oh, you avocado live in Chicago. Too. That's why it's a dollar for an avocado, dude. But why are you acting like like you don't live in the same area as I do? The price but is the same for you. Produce, I know my produce is cheaper. I live. I don't live in, in Chicago anymore, bro. What do you mean? I live in fucking Waukegan. Like, that's closer north. My Pretty groceries much. are technically cheaper than yours. They, they might be the same. I mean, I don't know. I haven't bought it. Like, I don't, last time I bought an avocado. All right. was- Back to Legally Blonde. Wiener, what would you <laughs> rate it? Get way off track with that. Wiener, what would you rate Legally Blonde? I give I'll give it a, I'll give it a solid nine out of ten, dude. Cause like that, it, it was my ranting that got us off track. So like, mm-hmm. I, I, I give it a nine out of ten because this, this movie was totally solid. Weak. And, like, Reese Witherspoon is a fucking goat. I know. Also, all her other films, total watch. Yeah. Um. What's another look? Another white girl film that she's done that's really good is um uh How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. Never oh, that's it. a classic. That wasn't her. That was um Goldie Hawn's what? daughter. What's her name? It Kate wasn't. Hudson. What? Oh, Kate oh yeah, that was Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson. Then what other? I, I'm I'm thinking of another one because it was another one that she was in with uh with Matthew McConaughey. She was in Cool Intentions. That's a white girl film. But I can't think of a comedy. With who, who was it? Who was in it? Cruel what? Intentions was dope. It was her and Matthew McConaughey. Um, it was. I'll be right back. With Reese. Um, I'm. I, I can't remember it. Honestly, there's one I, with I, her. Uh, where she's like from the I think south. It's like, and it, it's it's Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. Um, 
She's in Walk the Line, a Johnny Cash movie. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good movie. I had to rewatch it because it's been it's been years since I've seen it. So, oh, actually, you know what? She's in Water for Elephants. I love that movie with Robert Pattinson and um, Christoph Waltz. Yeah, Christoph Waltz always plays a good bad guy. I can love that movie. And he was a dick. Yeah, just like was, was it Hot Pursuit? I don't remember. Have you not seen Water for Elephants? No. Oh, well. Yeah, it it's good. basically like Robert Pattinson. It's like the 1930s or something like that. He, um, he was taking this, uh, he was being, he was taking the exam to be a veterinarian. And then he got a call right in the middle of the test until his parents were, they died. Both of them were killed, something like that. So he was basically homeless on his own. Oh, they, I they, heard they of took, that one. They took the, they repossessed the house and everything. So he was just on his own. He just jumped on the train. Turned out to be a circus train. He's basically a stowaway. They got him some work there, but they like didn't officially get him a job. They just like here we'll find you some work and it'll pay you and everything under the table. But then they caught notice. They brought him to Christoph Waltz, who was like the uh, the ringmaster, and he was you know he hired him everything. But he just found out he's basically pretty abusive to his uh, employees, to the animals, and everything. His wife was Reese Witherspoon. It's a really good movie. It's really good. I wouldn't doubt it. I watch anything with Robert Pattinson except for the Twilight series. You know, Reese was actually his mother in a, mo- a movie. I forgot what it's called. Maybe what like is this? Elizabeth in town. She's his mom. All right. What other movie should we talk? What did I miss? I need. A, I just We're need talking a, about. One of the greatest films. Recap. I'm talking about one of the greatest films of all time, Water for Elephants. I mean, <laughs> anything <laughs> Robert Pattinson is super good, except for the Twilight series. Twilight isn't even terrible. Stop hating, bro. Like I Twilight, hate it. It's Twilight. It is terrible. First, no, bro, it, it's bro, it's, it's not the good. Fuck it's not good, but it's not terrible. That movie is Gaslight and Manipulation. The movie. What do you mean? We were just he talking just about a movie with a 30 year old woman was hitting on a 13 year old boy. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen, what? Listen, I what? said it was gaslight and manipulation, Explain and there's context way. to that film. The context to the manipulation, He's yes, there is. Body She's a 13 year old woman, uh, girl in a 30 year old woman body. She doesn't realize things yet. People know what Twilight is. We get it. <laughs> yeah, it's. Hot garbage. As a product, Twilight is, Twilight is fine. It's as like fine. a product of 2008 Tumblr girls, we get it. Exactly true. All right, what other film would you guys like to talk about before we get into Mean Girls? Because I feel like that's going to take up a lot of their time. Mean um, Girls I, too. No, mean I'd girls. like to throw it out. Um, kind of one that started, it especially for me. Um, was Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. Ooh, 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 I love that movie. Oh, my God. Did you guys watch that movie? It's so good. Um, it, it shows, like, a true blossoming friendship between two kind of dumb blondes, like, let's be honest. But, like, they don't care. They just care about their friendship. And, um, you know, they go to this reunion, and it's just, it's just such a fun, fun movie. Lisa Kudrow, and who's the other gal in it? Uh, she was in, what movie was she in? She was in... Mira uh, Cer- uh, Servino. Summer of Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did watch this movie, but it's been so long that I don't remember it. I, me and my buddy rented this one time, like, back when, like, back in, like, junior high. Uh, like, and, like, we were like, what the fuck are we watching? Like, why do we rent a chick flick? And we, we actually enjoyed it. So, like, it was, like... It's well, always it's always that thing with guys where it's like, oh, a chick flick, and then you watch it and you're like, this is actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this like made me proud to be a woman because I watched it. would watch it as I was like becoming into a woman. I was like, you know what? Like these women are empowering. They're uplifting. Like I want to be like that. All right. Cool. 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 
I never cool. saw it. I've heard of it. I knew Lisa Kudrow was in it. <laughs> I never actually saw it before. I have like 20 more I can <laughs> add to this list. No, we could talk about chick flicks all day. I know. I mean, you can discuss this for a minute. Since what? they're out there, let's, you know, get into it. All right. What year did um, she, I remember? What was it like? She was on France, like, obviously on France during it, so. Yeah, yeah. That I think that's what kind of, may have scored her the role because like Friends was like super popular at the time for some reason, even though that show's terrible. Friends is still super popular. Y'all just hating on it for no reason. I, yeah, like, that was, I, I, no, I'm not, not, Friends is all right, I but I only them. really liked like I liked most of the characters except well, for Ross and Rachel. Different. They were the worst. No reason. I like I like Joey. Joey. <laughs> Joey. Chandler and um, why am I forgetting her name right now? The girl that sings Smelly Cat. We literally just talked about her. Phoebe. 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 Yes. I Phoebe like, Buffet. I like Phoebe too. I like Phoebe. I like Joey. I, those are the only Joey characters. Chandler. Like. Uh, Joey, Phoebe, and Chandler in that order are the best characters in that show. It's popular hate on friends these days. So, so and so. then Monica is right there behind them. Then it's Rachel. And then Ross can go fucking die in a ditch, man. Like, that is <laughs> the fucking I, I worst I just, fucking I just, character. I just don't like David Schwimmer, dude. And he played he played uh the Kardashian the Kardashian's father in that OJ series, uh um true crime uh American crime story. Here's the thing. Anyone oh, who would have played God. Ross like, would have been terrible because ter- Ross is just- <laughs> the thing. Like I said, anybody playing Ross would just be terrible because Ross is just such a shitty character. Yeah. Like it everything they wrote perfect. for him is terrible. Like like Joey should not have given up Rachel so Ross can be happy with Rachel. Like fuck Ross, man. I think that just yeah. shows that Joey is just a really good friend, and he. Did give up Rachel for that? He they just realized they weren't compatible. They did. I mean, they kind of they're like, yeah, it's not what I thought it was. I don't know about that. That's I feel it. like they wrote it that way because they still wanted to keep the Ross and Rachel storyline going. Because the fans wanted it. Doesn't matter what you. Think. The fans are fucking stupid. Ross think, during the time they were like, "Fuck yeah, Ross. <laughs> dude!" If there was a Twitter back then, it would have been awful. It would have Twitter. Ross, like, <laughs> if people knew about incels back then, Ross would have been the king of the incels at trash. that point. I wholeheartedly agree that it would have been an issue. Like, like every week. oh my god, Ross is just so terrible. Like he he just made it all about himself every time. He was self absorbed. He, he made himself the victim every time. I think a lot of uh, it stemmed from I'm not making excuses for him, for him, but I think part of it stemmed from. He started off the show, got cheated on for, by his wife. She left him for another woman, and damn, they essentially tried to keep him out of having, you know, custody of his son. Like, or not custody, but like they didn't want his name in, with his son or whatever. And it was just they were trying to keep the, him out of it completely. Almost, and so I think. Yeah, but in the flashbacks before that, he was still the same guy. He got very, he got very, kind of defensive. Very, yeah, very defensive, kind of possessive. I'm not, yeah, I'm not making excuses for him. I just think it's just it started because of. The- I wouldn't say it started because of that, because in the flashbacks, they always he was always like that. Okay, but even so. He still got dumped by his wife, cheated on, and left for another woman. They actively tried to keep him as far away from, you know, his son's name as possible. They didn't want his name in his son's name or whatever. That is true. That is fucked up, for sure. But honestly, if... gaslighted him a lot, if you think about it. If you pay attention, like, Rachel was was just as shitty as Ross is. I don't know what you imagine, but they're both producers shitty each other. I, I, I did say that Rachel was right above him in terms of terrible. They were just as shitty as, as each other. I, I, I'm t- I just ranked them. I, I just ranked them. I'm just saying Ross is below Rachel. Ross is worse than Rachel, but I'm not saying Ro- uh, Rachel is that much better than him. 
That's what I'm saying. They are both the worst characters in that show. Like out of all of them, the ones I liked: Joey, Phoebe, Chandler, Monica, barely passable, Rachel and Ross, terrible. Either way, people be hating because it's a cool thing to do these days. I don't know. Like, like I don't know how they based the show off Living Single when they made those two trash ass characters. <laughs> oh, they based on it, but they definitely ripped off the concept of it. That's why they based it off of it. I think they even said, like, we want a white version of this. I think that yeah. was a, that conversation. That that was their... <laughs> oh. Living think... Single had, didn't really have a bad character. Single. A lot, I know there's a lot of white people try to prop it up as if they're trying to prove something. It's like, there's a lot of better black sitcoms on there. I don't know how to tell you that. Martin, Fresh Prince. A lot, a lot of white people try to prop a Living Single. As if they're just trying to be cool. It's like, okay. I like, I, like, black I like that show. I liked that show a lot when I was a kid. Me Living too. Was dope. I'm not saying Living Single is dope. Living Single is dope. I'm just but saying. But if I had to put a sitcom above it, it'd be... Um, if you it, try to I'd put like, quite a few above it. I could, I could see people like just trying to bring that one up because that one I'm, wasn't as well known I'm just as saying, a lot of the other ones. A lot of white people try to prop it up. Yeah, yeah, I can, so I can totally see that being a thing. I can totally. Like, I mean, if they're trying to bring up ones that aren't as well known, I'm a as if it's the end yeah. of a black yeah. I'm just like, this is their Oh, problem. it's not. It's not. It's, it's definitely not. not. No, it's not. It's, it's not. not. Believe me, it is. It's just like stop. Like, stop trying to get those points. Stop. It can't be when Fresh Prince is is out there. And Martin, Martin are my top two. Mine's overrated, but yeah, I agree with that. What? It's overrated. Bro, oh my! Uh, we're, we're gonna throw hands. The, the 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 time the when we meet, we might have to throw hands. It was bad. I said it was overrated. I, I don't know how you could think. I, I literally watched clips earlier today of Martin, and I was like I put dying. I put Fresh Prince above it. I put Urkel above it. All right, let's go back to the discussion though. <laughs> what? No wait, hold on. You put actually. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's let's uh let's let's table this. We can make this another discussion. Uh, for another episode, because we can talk. Angle, we can talk. We're sister, sister. Stafford and son. What else? Is, our, is next week our favorite black sitcoms? <laughs> I, I guess so. Um, all right. Uh, let's move on. Girlfriends. To a... Girlfriends. One, one on one. There's a lot of black sitcoms out there. I'm just oh, wondering. you're still on that. I'm trying to mix <laughs> it up. <laughs> What was that one that Brandy was in? I'm just messing. Moesha. 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 Yeah, dude. That one was dope. I was about to bring up Moesha, but y'all kept talking. One on one. <laughs> one on one is underrated. Flex was funny yeah. back in the day. Flex for no reason. He was a little funny. My wife and kids. No, that's a good one. It was not bad. Wayne's Brothers. I like that one a lot because of Pops. Keenan and Kale. That counts. All right, let's get back. All right, we'll, we'll, <laughs> let's get back to the discussion. Guys. All above Martin. Oh my God! No, uh, hold on. I, I I can't I can't get sucked in by you uh, with this. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. We need to get back to it. Get back to it. All right, so another one I want to bring up: Clueless. Ooh. Now Paul Rudd looks exactly the same. Yes. Clueless is something. Back when that, the, like that, I hadn't watched always. until <laughs> maybe a couple years ago. This is back when Stacy Dash was in Candace Owens 2.0. Exactly. <laughs> this is so sad. It's like, why? Why did you have to do this, Stacy Dash? <laughs> Stacy Dash. I and know. The TV series in '96. What? And Paul Rudd looks exactly the same, doesn't he? Yep. Uh, yeah, it's on, it's on Hulu Plus right now, so you could actually watch it. She look. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. He looks exactly the same. But isn't this like super good show, Clueless? Yes, Clueless is the classic. It's a ten out of ten. What um, the thing about this movie though? The thing about this movie, it has some big Lebowski syndrome 
where this movie has no plot and it ha- it makes no sense. No, the plot is that she considers herself a matchmaker, and because she thinks that she's very successful and the people that she puts together, that that she goes crazy overboard with it. No, that's barely a part of the movie. I mean, that's pretty much how it starts off. Like, that's pretty much like a good amount of the film. No. I mean, it goes, I'm saying she goes crazy with it because she goes overboard. It's based off a Jane Austen book. Of course, it has a plot. Look, see? Fuck your pride and prejudice and your fucking. uh, Do not uh, disrespect Jane Austen in front of you, sir. Sense and sensibility. Or whatever First that off, I read is. that book as a teenager, and it awoke. <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. No, I'm, I'm kidding too. But I actually did read it as a teenager. <laughs> Honestly, for a lot of teenagers, read Sense and Sensibility. It actually does help you out a lot with dealing with puberty and being a teenager. Oh, that's not a Jane Austen book. What? Sense and Sensibility. I thought that was a Jane Austen book. I don't remember. No, she wrote Pride and Prejudice, and I just yes, thought she did. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know. Anyway, we're off. We're off. Let's 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 get back to Clueless. And so, so when I was talking, it with, is a Jane Austen book. Sensibility, sense, sense, sensibility is a fuck. I can't talk. Sense and sensibility is so a Jane I was Austen. Talking, I was talking with Britt the other day about how Clueless doesn't make any sense. And she said something completely different than what you did. I mean, I'm saying that's how the, how it starts <laughs> off, and then it goes off. The, then she goes off the rails. She, she's but like I don't know. And then she ends up hooking up with her stepbrother, Paul Rudd. No stepbrother. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What's what's up with these stepbrother movies? Like we were just watching Mean Girls too, where there was a total stepbrother stepsister vibe. Yeah, how are you going? At? Like stepbrother seems to hate her, but if she you're was, the best stepbrother, if ever. she would, if she was to go out of her way to flaunt her stuff in front of him, he would totally do it. That's the thing. Like I don't, I don't know about that. Because like in, in in Mean Girls too, he, the stepbro was like. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know how you really are, so I don't give a fuck about you. I'm gonna tell you guys something privately later that I won't want to record live, but it's it's something fascinating that happened in my life recently. I cool. can't. I, I, yeah. All right, another movie that I would like to recommend because fuck both of you. Um, 10 Things I Hate About You. That's another 10 out of 10. Did you say Taming of the Shrew? 10 Things I Hate About You. That's what I just said. No. Yeah, because 10 Things I Hate About You is based off the Shakespeare play Taming of the Shrew. I hate you so much, Timon. What, did I give you fun facts? Sometimes, barely, rarely, rarely do you give fun facts. Is that why they made fun? Is that why they made fun of of um of William Shakespeare? We can, in, make, fun of, we can the, make fun of Shakespeare. No, in the movie they did. Well, she, well, the main character did. She did. I love that movie. Like the whole scene where he's like singing to her uh, in um at the uh, at the school thing, whatever it's called, the stadium. By the way, that was a giant stadium for a high school. What the fuck? Right? Like the their field? Yeah, the field. That's a giant stadium for a high it's school, pretty, right? It's pretty big. Yeah, yeah like the, how those bleachers and shit are set up. Yeah, dude. Like any other high school has like regular fucking bleachers. Or like my high school. Like- and the field is like half the size. My school, the home side, had, like, these nice, like, cement fucking bleachers, but they, it wasn't surrounding the thing. And then the, the opposing team side had, like, the re- like the fucking metal fucking – and, like, not many seats. 
I like how in this movie they made it out that she wasn't always this person that she used to be um, the popular girl, but then she fell from grace and she realized that being popular I was isn't just all that there is. This... Huh? I was just informed that this was a famous Hollywood high school. So it's, 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 Jake she probably know. went to high school there. No, she didn't. No, no I'm, I'm kidding. Bro. He's from out here, I think. But yeah, I like this film. Like, uh, Heath Ledger was in it. There he, there is. he is. Right there. There he is right there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you following me? Oh, and hey, then she does was, the... She the, was she the same gal in Save the Last Dance? Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's a good film right there, but I don't know if that's a, a white gal movie. It's not. It, it's a <laughs> Hollywood trying to make a mixed race movie. Okay. Like, was was Drumline one of those or no? No. Dr- I, never saw, I never saw either one of those movies. So she, I'm just asking. I'm she asking was with a black never, woman in Drumline. There was no white woman there. I never saw the movie. I don't know. Wasn't it an H H? Uh, fuck! I can't speak right now. Wasn't it an HBCU for Drumline that she was in? Yeah. Exactly. It was in Atlanta. Exactly. Oof. Man, Timon, just spreading your capacity around. No, I was just Atlanta. asking an honest question because I never seen either movie. That's all I was doing, and now you never saw a drum line. No, I never saw. Yeah, I never saw it. Terrible. It's not a white girl film, though. It's a Nick oh. Cannon movie. It's a Nick Cannon. Nick movie. Cannon movie. <laughs> I think that's probably why I never saw it. No, like, it's actually pretty favorite. decent. It's actually pretty decent. That's like, yeah, it's not bad. It's one, of the, it's one of his better works. I know. <laughs> I wish I could I could play the drums like that. Oh, dude! Like anytime I see an impre- like I was I tried you know, to be a drummer at one point in my life. Drumline is one of those movies, and I have a few I put in this category. It's one of those movies where, when it comes on, it's like an event because they'll play it all weekend, and, at least, <laughs> and you gotta watch. You, you sit down and watch it once at least one time. Yeah, the like they may play it. Six or seven times the whole weekend. You at once you watch it all the way through at least once. I put a few movies in that category. Like put the replacements in that category. I put what else do like goes in that? You know that, that kind of movie? That yeah. No, I get it. I weekend. get it. Love don't cost a thing. The replacements is another one. They do like Love that. Don't Cost a Thing. When I was a kid, yeah. it used to, it, when I was a kid, it used to be that Michael Jackson movie. Oh Where you just like it would play all fucking weekend and you had oh they still do that, that one they still play that movie do they oh my god doesn't the movie start with him movie. picking out a switch to get his ass beat by his dad that's yes that's his favorite movie it's, it's like, him and fucking she, Gary Indiana picking out that, a switch she watched that whole fucking movie all weekend long <laughs> bro I can not do that. <laughs> Sw- that movie is almost three hours, hours long. Fuck that I movie. Sit through all five hours each time. I swear to God. All five hours. <laughs> Bro, that movie is too fucking so long for me to do that shit. She'll do it. She loves it that much. It's a good movie, but I'm not watching it all five hours, six times in one weekend. I'm not watching that movie at all. Fucking list. That's, yeah. All right. Back to white girl movies. Shall we talk about Sleepover? Sleepover. Okay, yes. I like Sleepover. Uh, oh, Sleepover's I'm, a little younger, though. It's like a little younger. Yeah, it's like movie. going it's more, to high school. It's, it's more high school. This is back when, like, you would think. No, she's in middle movie. school going to high school. She's about to become a freshman. Yeah. And, like, her best friend is about to move away, I think. Yeah. And it's like, is it, like, the big deal? Like, she wants a boyfriend so she doesn't have to eat lunch by the fucking dumpsters or some shit? Yeah. And then, like, the like, whole thing about Sipo, and then the whole thing about, like, the... I um, this one either. What is that? It's Alexa Vega. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, Alexa Vega. Yeah. Bro, she don't even look white. 
She don't even yeah. look white. My brother straight up white. Like she's white passing, but she don't even look white. Like you don't believe that she's oh like if you saw her down walking down the street, you wouldn't believe she's white. Also, you know what I found weird about this film is when they're out, um the that girl, um she ends up liking the guy that's do, that, that's a stage hand. And I'm like, isn't that guy too old for her? Like, isn't this a problem uh, for the film? The guy that she was trying to date was going to be like a senior or some shit. So, <laughs> exactly. Concept like, of Matt here is dating. No, I thought that was weird too. I was going to mention that too. I don't understand that. I'm shit. like, what the fuck? They're supposed to be like 13 in this film. Or like fourteen. They are not. They they're they're fucking. No, nine. in real life, obviously, but in the film, like dude. Nineteen. In the film, they're supposed to be I fourteen. Know. I know. I Stop know. trying to save it by by putting their actual age. I'm talking by by the in the film standards. I get I get what you're saying, dude. And like I, we talk about this shit all the time. Like the Archie, the kids in Archie are finally playing their age because they did a time skip. You know, like yes. <laughs> I, I feel like they did that because it was moving into more adult themes. Oh, they were fucking in the first season. Like I know, but it was getting a lot more and a lot more. Oh, Jake disappeared. We'll get him back here. I'll, I'll... All right. But yeah, I like that film. I'd rate that one a seven, maybe a six out of ten. Six to seven out of ten. It was solid. I enjoyed it. What would you I rate? Noticed, it? I just noticed my name is Dick Stretcher. Yeah. Yeah, it's been that for like forty minutes. I didn't even so, notice. Because you were stretching the tr you were you were you were reaching really hard. Reed Richards. Reed Richards. <laughs> yes, you were really, you were elongated man. I can't even be Reed. I got to be Ralph. Exactly. You got to be canceled. You're canceled. All right. What would you rate Sleepover? I never saw it. I can't rate I'm it. I'm talking to him. White man thinks it's I all gave about, it about a seven. I gave it about a seven. It was I like, gave yeah. it about a six. This, this is an enjoyable movie. I mean, it's, just, it's a little younger, but it's like. It's just one of those. It just it'll come on. You be like, I think it this is exactly how it happened. It just came on one day, and I was like, oh, what's this? <laughs> so that yeah, you know, it wasn't bad. Um, it was funny how yeah that that part I think is when he went to that they somehow got into that club, and her teacher ordered her a drink or whatever. Mm -hmm. Was it the substitute teacher or something like that? Not that. No, it was, it was her. It was her teacher. It was yeah. her teacher. Cause like they matched with each other on like some dating site, yeah. And it turned oh, out damn. to be him, yeah. and he was like, "Oh shit, oh, this damn. Evan Peters. Oh fuck, this Evan." Peters yeah, right Evan here. Peters. It's crazy that he became such a great actor, <laughs> and seeing him in this, he became the biggest star in this whole movie. I know, which is crazy. <laughs> oh, she dude, actually Evan becomes big decently. Dude, I I became an Evan Peters fan from American Horror Story. Is that Brie Larson? Is it? No, that's not Brie. Wait, are you no, talking, no, no. talking about Stacy? The girl in the pink. The girl in the pink. Is that Brie Larson? It, was she in this film? I don't know. No, that's not Brie Larson. No, the other one. The one. Oh wait, no, no, no. That helped that other person up. Okay, okay. Let, let's let's we'll find out. Are you going to look it up if she's in this movie? It could have been Brie Larson. Maybe. Hold on. You might want to just go back a yeah, little bit. Yeah, just go back to the part when do you fell. Or they, she helped him up. Let's go back like a minute. Yeah. That girl acts like she's that much prettier than her. They're like about the same. Okay, that's yeah. good. It might have been Brie Larson. I do remember seeing images of her like in something pink. No, that's not Brie Larson, I think. Wait, no, it could be. It she could was, be. I mean, she was a She kid, did look man. different much younger. So, like... That is Brie Larson. Yeah. That, that is, is. That yeah. is. That is. That is Brie Larson. Is Brie, Brie Larson, Larson is a sleepover. That is Brie Larson. I can tell. She, the eyes, I can tell. It's Brie Larson. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
I want to I want to bring out a movie that is equal in my mind to to um to Mean Girls. But it is Easy A with Emma Stone. I never saw that. Stone, How the I fuck did you not either. watch? Oh my I god! Never, I, never, I never even heard I of it. I just watched it a couple years ago, but they never just even took heard it on of Netflix. It oh my god! You guys have not watched Easy A. Oh, I need so to watch sad. that. I need to watch. That. I, I actually haven't seen it. I know. Oh my that god! This is so sad. Everybody say F's in chat. I know it's bad. I need to watch it. Oh my gosh. Oh, F's in the this chat. This so good. <laughs> Uh, well, basically, the whole point of the film is that she pretends sh- to say that she slept with people. Um, it's like uh, a, it's like a, it's like a take on the Scarlet Letter, right? Yes, it's because um, the start of the, in the the start of the film, they're actually really reading a Scarlet Letter. Yeah. Um, so like, uh, mm-hmm. it just hits very close like to home, and so she starts thing. wearing the A in her clothes and stuff, and you know, she just starts wearing uh clothes a little bit more scantily clad like you know to go with the fake persona of her sleeping around with people but like she's basically getting paid to say that she slept with people um and yeah the story just goes on from that uh amanda Bynes is in this she plays a a bible freak what's it called easy a easy a it's so good guys how have you guys not watched ECA? Oh man, this is this is the role that she got right before um, Zombieland, I think, or was it right after? It was one of the two. It was either right it was after. Around, or like, it was around oh, dude, it's Emma Stone. It was around. I, I literally said Emma Stone. Never forget the movie that launched her career, though. What Spider Man? Super bad. Yeah, super bad. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is how it starts. Uh, he's gay, and they become, uh, and like they pretend to have sex, and so he, uh, you know, it's painted to have sex. Oh, is he like afraid to come but, out? Uh, yeah, he's afraid to come out of the closet. Everyone is already starting to suspect he's gay, and you know, okay. yeah, yeah. They make a Huck- Huckleberry Finn reference with him. <laughs> You know how Huckleberry Finn like leaves in a boat with a black man? That's what he does, but like in a more of a gay thing than than with Huckleberry Finn. It wasn't the controversial character where I can't say his name live, but I would tell it to you guys in a private chat for sure. All right. But yeah, honestly, N- easy. N-word, N-word Jim. Yeah, I, we knew who you we were talking about. We just didn't want to, you know, <laughs> actually say it. All right, but yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yes, that's um, easy. A watch it. It's another ten out of ten. Uh, how have you guys not watched it? Another one I'm gonna say is she's the man. It's a solid. She's a solid six or seven out of ten. I so never finished them. She's the Man because I remember I was movie hopping and I got to She's the Man, but then my ride, my ride showed up, so I had to leave. All right, just imagine uh, Amanda Bynes, Channing Tatum, and the Red Ranger from Power Rangers SPD in a film together. I remember the movie. It's just, you know. No, I'm talking to Timon because he hasn't seen it. What, what, like, what was the question? Hold on. I, no, I said just imagine Amanda Bynes. Channing Tatum and the Red Ranger from Power Rangers SPD in a film together. And that's what that is. That'd be cool. It was cool. It, it was actually pretty cool. Channing Tatum was supposed to play this, uh, was a sensitive jock in this film. She's the Man is a remake. Yes, it is. It is a remake. She's the Man is a remake. Remember when when uh, um, Lindsay Lohan and Amanda Bynes were like the queens of like the white girl movies, dude? Yeah, Lin, Lin, like I said, like I think I said this last week. I was like Lindsay Lohan was one of my childhood crushes back in the day, dude. Like Emma Stone, Emma Stone has it going on all the time. Like, oh my god, the scene that I'm watching right now, she's taking her panties off. I got. I got to put. I got to turn my camera off for a second. I'm kidding. <laughs> you goofy <laughs> ass bitch. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, what's uh, another good um, white girl film? Um, he's just not that into you. Man, I'm missing out on a lot of movies, man. You never watched it? No. But New Jack City. <laughs> New Jack City. <laughs> New Jack City. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, she she's the man is super is super funny. It's uh Amanda Bynes pretending to be a boy to be able to play soccer in uh college because her soccer team was disbanded. Damn. Yeah. Uh, women's soccer is fucking ruthless, dude. I like back in high school I used to go to my friend Lauren's uh soccer games. She was a senior, I was a junior. Bro, uh, watching women's soccer ins- re-inspired me to start playing soccer again. I played, I went, like, I played soccer my senior year, but like, women's soccer is fucking ruthless, dude. Like, okay. these, these gals are beating each other up on the field, and the refs are like too afraid to call shit, dude. Because like, like the shit is fucking, <laughs> it's insane. All right. Um, so uh, I don't like soccer at all. I find it boring. But when I remember when uh, the first time I watched the women's soccer match, I was not bored the entire time. I was like, "This is actually really good." It's a lot more fast paced than the men's soccer league. I was like, "Damn, this!" I I, it, it, I think it's just the men's soccer league that I find boring. <laughs> all right. Another one, he's just not that into you. Have you guys watched that one? Uh, no. Nope. Bro, you, you it, it basically follows a whole bunch of story uh storylines of couples. It's kind of like the New Year's movie or the Christmas movie, like the one where it was a whole bunch of storylines. Yeah. This came out a little bit before that one. Um and I really enjoyed it. It has Scarlett Johansson, it has um uh what's his name brad um bradley cooper bradley cooper yeah it has bradley cooper um jennifer connelly oh you know who it has jennifer good goodwin snow white okay yeah she she plays one of the main people and same with justin long like her character and justin long's character that they um are like y'all need, to give, y'all need to give me a list of some of these great white girl chick flicks just any chick flick in general the fuck it, that are actually like like actually good movies and just not some fucking whatever you better, better listen than i do i'm like I'm, yeah you, I'll, you, I'll make a list for you bro just send me a fucking list dude if i can shit because uh, so far, dude, I, I feel like I'd be digging all of these movies. Like, all of the ones I haven't watched yet, I'd be digging all I'm, of them. I mentioned it earlier, but How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Yeah. That I, is so I good. Know, I know I've seen parts of that because that movie came out when I was younger. And Bro, that, know- that scene where they're, like, kind of, like, singing and they're, like, talking shit to each other at the same time. Like, that was such a good scene. Have you guys watched Bride, Bridesmaids? Of course, yeah. Yep. Okay, good. Finally, what would you guys rate Bridesmaids? Ten. The movie is fucking fantastic. Fuck yes, a ten for me too. Bridesmaids <laughs> I mean, is I, I so mean, good. I, I personally like anything Apatow puts out, but Bridesmaids True. was actually really fucking good. I thought it was Paul Figgy that directed that. Yeah, but he produced oh. it. It's still an Apatow. Oh, oh Judd Apatow produced it. Okay, okay, okay. He was a producer for it. All right. Um, you guys got any other ones? We gonna talk about bridesmaids. Oh, we can. We can. What you think about bridesmaids? Right. It was just fucking amazing. I mean, it was, it was like one of those that I knew it was gonna be funny, but I didn't know how funny it was gonna be. Same here. It, honestly, th- know- this one made me fall in love with um, Maya Rudolph. Actually, I haven't. Now that I'm watching this scene and shit, right? I have not seen this movie. This is another one I need to watch. I thought I definitely seen it. watched Bridesmaids. It's like I thought I, used to, I was used to those like Seth Rogen stoner comedies from Judd mm-hmm. Apatow, so this is hella different. 
Yeah. It's not really a stone. I don't, I don't think they can hide in this one, but <laughs> like, um, who's well, there's Irish other John Apatow movies where they just like they don't get high or whatever. Like, this is 40. Melissa, like, uh, Melissa McCarthy is in it. Um, Melissa McCarthy the mom, the can be from... funny. She's not always funny, but she can be fucking hilarious. I yeah. liked Melissa McCarthy in this one. The oh, hell yeah. From, I'll dig it then. That, uh, what's that 80s show? The Goldbergs. She's this gal's always funny. Dude. Maya Rudolph. Like, Maya Rudolph, yeah. This is where uh, this is the one where I fell in love with her. Yeah, she took a shit in it because it, they went to this uh, Mexican restaurant and they got all got food poisoning, and they all just had to start taking a shit like right then and there. It was like this hole in the wall Mexican restaurant, and they got food poisoning. Oh, fucked up. Man. Hole in the walls are usually the best ones that don't give you the shits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the restaurants to go to, dude. Well, like, they you, got it from there. But that, like, you she, get a full you, fucking meal for like ten dollars. Like, yeah, I'm going or less. Not even cheap. Yeah, well, a lot, a lot of times even cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Like, like nine at, bucks. I'm just saying at max you'll pay. Yeah, 10 at max. John Hamm is yeah. in it too. John Hamm is mm-hmm. in it too. He plays like this douchebag who she hooks up with every so often. Yeah, that's what he. Crystal Dowd is in it too. Yeah, Crystal Dowd. It was that part where he, he she ghosted him or whatever, or rejected him, and her yeah. tire. She hit that. Uh, or what did she do? She her tire got fucked up because she almost hit a uh, raccoon or something, and so he had to come and do something. I guess he had to help her or whatever, and like he, she wouldn't talk to. He wouldn't talk to her. He shit kept trying to get her to talk to me. He's like, I mean, you just left me. You embedded me. You wouldn't talk to me, blah, blah, blah. And then her ride showed up. It was um, uh, John Hamm. And he was just being a dude. She said, look, it's like my cock is steering my car. And he just looked yeah. at him. And he looked back. He's like, come on. Like, you can do better than this guy. <laughs> this fucking guy? I, I'm trying to... Um, there's these, like... There's this movie... Um that he's in. I'm trying to find it. Uh, dude, find that scene. Um, I'm sure you can find a clip of um, where that is towards the end, the one I was talking about. Around that. Try that. Yeah. <gasps> oh, go, I just thought of another that. one. I'll before, give it to you later. Before that. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Way before that, actually. Yeah. Before that. This is where Melissa McCarthy yeah. wasn't like too little, extra. A little bit before that. Okay. Yeah, right there. <sighs> oh, what a dick! He's trying to dip. What a dick! Can you play yourself? You can't play yourself for a few minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's been dingus for the few minutes. Yeah, I, I liked her in this film. Kristen Wiig is hilarious. Kristen Wiig, Kristen Wiig can be fantastic, dude. Like, she's she really, can't be, they just got to put her in like the right role. This is when she's really getting to that sort of um, starring role phase. Mm-hmm. You know, when people are recognizing her. There's like, I think she's, was she in SNL? Yeah. I think this is when she's transitioning out of SNL. <laughs> I yeah. think so. <laughs> they went through that period where she was just like getting more stuff and was like, yeah, I'm going to leave SNL. So. No, here we go. Okay. I've had a horrible day. I don't need a lecture from you right now, okay? I just, I just, oh. This didn't happen because of Helen. This happened because you just get killed like Do you have any idea how frustrating it is to see you night by night drive past me? <laughs> your fucking taillight's still broken. Do you have any idea how crazy that makes me? There's this thing earlier in the movie where he first met her <laughs> because of broken taillight. Mm-hmm. broken light. I remember this. Please, but he's... responsible this is. Yes, I should have gotten my fucking taillights fixed. But I didn't, okay? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, your message was received. Nah, dude, she got hit in broad daylight. If that was a, if it, this happened at night, I could see that, but it's this a happened in 
broad daylight. But she didn't. Her taillights weren't working, so they couldn't tell that she was breaking. But he's also just talking about his heart, though. Yeah. <laughs> for, for fucking yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's pouring yeah. out his feelings. Yeah, he's pouring out his soul right here. Yeah. And then you came home with me, and we pissed off, bunched off, and then you just left. It's like it was nothing. Oh, please. I know how guys do this thing. I know how guys act. One minute it means something, the next minute it doesn't. Oh, right, yeah, you got it all figured out. Yeah. How's that working out for you? Pretty good? <laughs> Whoa! What's up, fuck, buddy? Help for roadside assistance? Thanks, officer. I can handle it from here on out. Come on! <laughs> the whole theater started dying at that part. Yeah. We're just never there when you need us. Cop talks weird. That was so trash. Oh my god. This is a good movie. You should give it a try one time. One time. I mean, that's actually a really good movie. I'm trying to find this movie. I think it was with Ricky Gervais. Thanks again. Did I forget? But one that's like really good with Chris O'Dowd too is um, Juliet Naked. Have you guys watched that? No. All right. So um, basically, it's- was that the scene you wanted, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, that was the scene he wanted. That was a good scene. I was like, damn, Chris O'Dowd is really hurting. But um, with uh, Juliet Naked, it's uh, basically. Um, this movie about this girl who gets in contact with this rock star that her um, boyfriend or husband, I forget already if he was his bo- her boyfriend or husband, uh, is in love with his music. And so they become pen pals and they go back and forth and all that. And then um, she, they kind of start liking each other and, you know... Um, uh, she finds out that her boyfriend is cheating on her, and so well, and then like she starts going out with him after a while, or they just keep talking and meeting up, and eventually they start going out, and then like uh, at one point she introduced him to to her ex boyfriend and stuff like that. So yeah, um, but Juliet Naked, it's there's a lot more to it. I don't want to get too involved with it. Juliet Naked, such a good film. Really enjoyed it. Dude. I feel like you guys would. It's a great chick flick. Dude, dude, we've been going later than we should have been. So why don't we like get to Mean Girls 1, Mean Girls 2, Mean Girls 7. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to Mean Girls then. Fuck. We, we've been going out for an hour and a half already. All right, Mean Girls. Is what else can like- I say about it besides it's so fetch? I just, <laughs> it, Dude, the movie is so fucking fetch. And, and like I just watched it today for like the first time, and I bet you were laughing your ass off, right? Do when when Gretchen Wieners said, like, if you're from Africa, why aren't you black, or like, why are you white? And you, you like you just can't ask someone why they're white. Like I was, I was cr- <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> like she's not from Africa. She just uh, lived uh, her whole life. What what's her face when she's like, I can tell uh by touching my breast if it's already raining. <laughs> oh dude, that and then at the end of the movie it shows her as a fucking sport uh, as a newscaster. Yeah. Like uh, as a weather reporter just touching her boob and being like it it the seems that there's an chance that it's already raining. raining. Yeah. Uh, that shit. Oh man, Tina Fey. There's a lot of people that came out of this, like actually, like legitimate stars in Hollywood. I know everyone is like Brandon Routh. Was Brandon Routh in this? He was the the guy. No, that's that's not Brandon Routh. That was somebody else. Was that not Brandon Routh? I thought nah. it was Brandon Routh. Are you talking about the guy she liked? Yeah. Nah, that's not. Oh that no, wait, no, no, no. That wasn't Brandon Routh. My bad. The other dude is like hosting. Um, I know he hosts. I think it's. The Halloween Wars on Cooking Channel, Food Network, I think. I'll be right back. I think he does more than that, but, but Jonathan Bennett—that's who it is. 
Jonathan Bennett. Bad oh, one of my favorite characters in that fucking movie was Kevin uh, Napore. Oh yeah, the the, 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 the math dude. Yeah, the math dude. When he started rapping, that shit was hilarious. I swear, you had, you had a rap scene to a com- to a comedy film, and it just it's makes one, it. It's one of those movies funny. where they have like a bunch of side characters that don't have a lot of screen time, but they're still yeah. like, memorable. Exactly. <laughs> it, it's funny how he told how he told um, Lindsay Lohan's character. It's like I prefer my women with a little bit more color, yeah. and then he goes out with with the girl that's paler than her. Yeah, he was like, what are you? He's like, Lebanese. <laughs> what did he say <laughs> first? What he thought she was? I don't know. I forgot what he thought she was. Oh, but that shit so, was hilarious. So, like, I watched this movie today, and, like, I have a lot to say about it, because this movie is deep on so many different levels. Like, especially, like, Tina Fey wrote it. I know. I, I mentioned her. I know, yeah, I, you mentioned that she's part of it. Like, yeah, she's in the movie. She wrote like, it, directed it, and fucking starred in it. She did not star in it. Lindsay Lohan started it, starred in it. But fucking apples and potatoes. Semantics. <laughs> Semantics. Exactly. So, starting it doesn't but mean. Here, here, like, Tina Fey has always been just like a pro at pushing the. The boundaries, the actual, the actual feminist agenda, because like I can break down like four or five different fucking feminist agendas. Like, I don't know if I should do. I, I don't know if you guys want to hear this, but like, I, I've I've broken down like five, like four. I think I think I just have four different categories. If there's more of them, you can tell me more. But I've broken down like four different categories of feminism. Like there's the, there's the cool the, the good one the cool one where like everybody just wants everybody to be equal and it's great and it's fun for everybody and it's it's awesome. Uh, just stop you right there. We're not gonna go any further. <laughs> that, that's the good one. No, we're, we're not going any further. You need to stop. Super, stop. super talks is over, party. We're not doing this. Oh, we're, we're not doing this. No, 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 yeah, no, drag no, no. this shit. No, 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 no. I talk a lot of bullshit, but that is some bullshit that I would not fucking co sign right there. I just, like, you you stopped like that, that first sentence. I was like, oh, no, this is setting into some you bullshit. Like that form of fem- that, that's the best form of feminism there is. Where everybody- that's the only feminism there is, legitimate form of feminism. Everything else is just. Twitter. There are, yeah. I mean, there are like there are waves uh, of feminism, but like what you are talking about is not the way. There's, there's dudes that there are. There's dudes who claim to be feminists, whatever, and they just use that identity just to get laid. Bro, stop there's, it! Stop! That, stop. That stop! I'm telling you to stop that now. Stop it now! All right, and those are incels. Not a little British. What are you gonna say? We're, we're, no, those are pieces of shit that like to take advantage of situations. They like to put themselves. I don't in know. That. Tina Fey. Right. Tina Fey's always been a pro of fucking just putting on like the correct form of fucking feminism in her writing and her in any of her work that she does. She fucking does a fantastic job of doing this shit. She's great. And it shows in this film. This film it was like amazing. Like I was telling Tony, I was like, this movie is like a fucking undercover fucking like cop movie. And Where- I'm just gonna not be the guy to tell women what is the correct way to do feminism. <laughs> uh so yeah. Um yeah, I'm not gonna be that fucking guy. <laughs> We're not Nasser here. Ooh. Well, well I, I don't I don't know. This shit, I don't know. I Not only did this shit portray high school accurately, like, this is how, like, shit was when I was a kid in high school. This movie came out when I was in high school. Uh, so, like, it, it was like, I didn't see it back then, but when I just watched it today, I was like, dude, this is exactly how shit was. Where, like, there was all sorts of rumors and all sorts of this, sh- this shit being talked about everybody. You never knew what was true or what wasn't true. And, like, 
you didn't necessarily have like a target on you, but fucking people were mean, and they didn't have like there were also like totally awesome people that were totally genuine. There were those people too, and but like I don't know. This portrayed it almost like as accurately as it could be. I don't know. For me, it wasn't accurate. Huh? For me, it wasn't accurate to like what actual high school was. Like, I think like my For era. A movie, being, I think it did a decent job. Like, I thought that like when watching like these high school movies, I was like, I was like, oh, so there are cliques, and I wonder what clique I'm gonna be a part of when I get to high school. And then I get to high school, and I'm like, these fucking cliques don't exist. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, cause I literally like, I was like literally like friends with, with almost everybody like i would like just like oh. go around and talk to a lot of people oh that's how i was i was kind of like a diplomat too. but there were no clicks like there were no, there was like there no were real definitely clicks. clicks when i was in school there was the no, i'm saying for me was, bro there was the academy kids there was the basketball players who all like they also played football like we had like a rare amount of athletes that were actually eligible to play sports after freshman year maybe that's a uh, thing for just white people then no, I went to I went to a, a mainly black school. Mm, that's interesting. That's why. Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'll say that joke afterwards. I swear you, you you're finally trying to save yourself from getting canceled. You dumb fuck. Oh, this, this man just says no. Here's the thing. It, it, Timon it, says, it was, Timon it says shit without thinking, and he doesn't was, always fully think things through. It was going to be a totally racist joke that's actually kind of funny, but I'm not going to do it live. See, he, he's over here about to be the next Ralph Dibney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but back to Mean Girls. I love how they didn't make, like, the gay man, just another stereotypical gay man. He was his oh, own dude, character. He was, uh, he was hilarious, dude. He, he was, was his great. own character. He wasn't just like the the overly he, he um, was, flamboyant he, gay friend that they always do. He was happened to be gay. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that, yeah, he was great. Like he he didn't do anything gay in the movie. He, like he's like when she was all like, Does anyone have anything pink? He's like, I do. You know, like that's not necessarily gay. Like I have a pink shirt. I have a I, I think I have a couple pink shirts. I know. I mean if anything, like any everyone could say like, Oh yeah, I'm rocking the pink polos because of Kanye. Or Cameron. Yeah. Like and because that's not necessarily gay. Like if I had a gal pal that was all like, Oh, you have a pink shirt? Because, like I'm a slim I'm a slim dude. Like most gals could fit in my clothes or whatever. It might be a little big, whatever. But like I wear mediums because they. I look, remember when I was slim, I fit into my girlfriend's clothes. I, I like to wear I like to wear medium t-shirts because they like make me look stronger than I am. And they kind of tuck they kind of tuck in my belly a little bit. Like I like to wear medium shirts, dude. Like, like bro, they don't tuck in your belly. They show you. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they no, do. They don't. They don't. They don't. Unless you're wearing like some spandex, it's not tucking in your belly, bro. It is. It is. This man had a unitard underneath that shit. <laughs> I'm crying now. <laughs> you, just, you just hurt my feelings so bad. <laughs> Back to Mean Girls, though. She doesn't even go here. That scene was so great. Oh, at the end, uh, or, or actually, that was the end of the second act. Yeah, like, this like act. that girl. She was like, "Oh, I, I, one, I, of the, one of the funniest things." Like he kept, they kept messing with him though. Like yeah. throughout the movie, and when he's up there singing, and he threw that shoe at him, and he picked it up and threw it right back while you're still singing. <laughs> 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 that, that was good. You're oh not man! Gonna bring me down. down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, top two characters, honestly. Um, Him and the Liz, other guy. Liz, Liz, Liz Kaplan's character is pretty good too, though. Who? Lizzie Kaplan. Hey, can can we admit Janice's fault in this movie for convincing? Fuck! What's the what's Lindsay Lohan's character's name? Caddy. It doesn't matter. For Caddy. Janice, for convincing Lo Lindsay Lohan 
to fucking infiltrating this group in the first place. Yeah. yeah. Like, is it she just took it too far and kept getting like going further yeah. and further, and becoming more and more like Gretchen? Katie, I mean, Katie I mean, got I mean, drunk with power. That's what happened. That that. Yeah, that's that's a huge issue. Like this, this that's what I'm saying. This movie is so fucking. But here's the thing, this, Janice this movie is so fucking deep, dude. Because like this happens to actual police, undercover police. Like this actually happens to undercover police who like infiltrate the mafia and shit, and they have to like do actual like mafia shit, like cutting people's limbs off, and like. And, like, doing all sorts of wild shit. I know, like, the stakes aren't as as, as extreme because, like, nobody's life is online in this movie. But it's still, like, the same sort of concept. Like, who will fucking this gal grow up to be if she's so easily corruptible like that? Or did she learn her lesson? From I don't this think it was that she was easily corruptible. I think it was just that she was never in this... In this um in this environment and the environment just set then, her off to be like that. And then, and then afterwards she learned how to readapt and assess and, yeah. and she just realized that the, um, that she shouldn't let her environment control her in that way anymore. Yeah, I get that. But, um, I Janice, know. I I don't put too much blame on Janice. I understand why she is, that fucking upset with um, what's her name? Caddy. Cad- no, Katie. not Caddy. Not Katie. K- not Katie. Katie. Um, not Katie. Katie. Uh, the main girl. I forget her name. The main mean girl. Uh, gr- uh oh, not Gretchen. Gretchen, but uh, Regina. Regina, yes, Regina Waters. Is that her last? Yeah, like, Regina I can see George. why she did that. Regina George. George. Well, I kept, I Regina kept George. Gretchen. I kept saying Gretchen. That's the friend. That's uh, Gretchen, nah, Wieners. Gretchen Wieners. She created. She created Fetch. Yeah, Gretchen. Gretchen Wieners, Regina George. Gretchen Wieners is probably one of my favorite characters in the movie. Top three, top five, actually. Top. She five. was fucking hilarious. Oh top my five. god. I find it. I find it funny every time she, she wanted. She she really wanted to be uh, Rachel, right? Yeah, she went, yeah. Oh, she she wanted to be her number two so bad. Yeah. Um, but what I was gonna say before, yeah, I understand why Janice was that upset with Rachel and why she like went as far as she did, but she didn't take it as overboard as fucking Katie did. Because like she literally just like fucked up her entire middle school to to high school, and they used to be best friends. Teenagers, Dude. man, they just yeah. Teenagers are ruthless, man. See, the thing about this, you know, so one thing about this movie is just like, why the fuck are you giving this girl so much power over y'all? Like she decided right? your whole damn life in school. Is it that serious? I, mean, I always find stuff like that so unrealistic in these sort of teen movies. I'm just like, is it really that serious? Is it really like, that deep? It's not like, that deep. Oh my god, I need to do this or I'm going to be forced to eat lunch in the, in the hallway know, there, all year. There were, there, were something, the there were some things that in high school that were just totally over dramatic. I'm talking about in real life. I'm not like, saying that... I, I mean, my high school I'm wasn't like honest, that, except for like... Never, I was never the cool guy. That just wasn't me. No, like yeah, no, I wasn't that cool guy either. But if you, if you, no, like you witnessed like a breakup that happened in like the hallway and shit, dude. Like the even like sometimes the dude like punch a locker or like the gal be like, oh my god, and like just like storm off and just go like flailing away and leave her fucking backpack. That's like, different, though. I'm just saying. Bro, like, I was I'm so, like, like, average in high school, but somehow I was the guy that everybody knew. I That's don't know di- how the fuck that happened. I'm, just, I'm, not, talking about, like, seeing, I'm not, not talking about, like, seeing people break up in a hallway. I'm talking about, like, you have a group of three girls who just decides your whole high school career or whatever. It's like, I have to impress them. I'm going to be deemed uncool. And it's like the end of the fucking world. It's yeah. Like, so you left in the fucking hallway. Who cares? the hell like oh my god if i don't do this then i'm gonna be a social outcast the whole year dude i was telling tony about this earlier off air there was a gal i went to school with i'm not gonna name her name there's a gal i went to school with 
where everybody claims she had fucking herpes. And like, and then like, and this was freshman year. Freshman year, everyone's all like, oh, dude, such and such has herpes. And I'm all like, no way. Yeah, like, whatever, whatever. Uh, junior year, someone's like talking about this shit, like at like some theater thing. And we're like, dude, that fucking such and such girl, dude, she's so fine. And I'm all like, yeah, I, I don't know. I do. I got. I I hear that she has herpes. I don't know. Like that could be a thing. And then my friend, uh, who's also there, who's been a friend of such and such for like since junior high. She's like, dude, she does not have fucking herpes, dude. She lied about that shit because entering high school, she thought it'd be, she thought she'd be cool or popular if she claimed she was sexually active. So she just went the extra mile and just fucking claimed that she also had herpes or whatever from being sexually active and blah, blah, blah. So like, so like, not even were pe- like rumors being made about people, but rumor pe- people were making rumors about themselves to make themselves seem cooler, or whatever to fit in in some sort of <laughs> weird way. Yeah, like, that is shit. always the weird thing in like high school movies where everyone pays so much attention to whether you're a virgin or not. That's what we just saw yeah. in Mean yeah. Girls Part Two. Yeah, where yeah. the main gal got outed for not being a virgin, which should be a good you mean thing. Being a virgin. Or yeah, for being a virgin. I, for being I, never, a virgin. I, I, I never saw Mean Girls too. Because we, like, we were hey, just watching why it the hell did I do that? Joined. We, we were watched watching. parts I've watched parts and pieces. That's, we were that's watching like, that's like, that's like watching it. that's like that's like watching Jingle all the way too. Why the fuck would I ever do that? <laughs> Wait, watching what? Jingle all the way too. Oh, I didn't know there was a second jingle all the like, way. Why the fuck would I ever do that? I didn't know there was. Now I have to watch it. No, hell no. I just was Larry you the Cable Guy. To. You don't have to watch it. It's anything with Jingle, Jingle, jingle All the Way is my favorite Christmas movie. That I movie have. is amazing. But, that movie is amazing, but I don't want to see Larry the Cable Guy doing the same shit. Uh, no, no, no. I, I have to. I have to now. I don't want to watch a film with Larry the Cable Guy talking about getting diarrhea and shitting in the Pringles can. I'm sorry. That's yeah. just not what I want to do. All right, let's get back to Mean Girls. Fuck Larry we'll the Cable Guy. We'll, we'll do Jingle all the way another time. But, um... <laughs> but Larry the Cable Guy. I mean, it's trash. Let's move on to Mean Girls. Let's go. Mean Girls. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I thought Gretchen Wieners was actually like the... like. The prettiest girl in that fucking movie. In the group? In the group, yeah. Oh, dude. I, I was riding my bike. Like, I had to stop the movie. I was riding my bike to the lick or to the, not the liquor store, the grocery store to buy liquor. But, and I was all like, dude, am I wrong to say fucking Gretchen Wieners is fine? Because I, w- I was in high school when this movie was, like, came out. So, like, well, am I wrong to say the fucking she's fine as hell? Like, well, I'd be wrong. Look at her. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Lacey Chabert. She's Brutus like, is just as as hot as as Caesar. Brutus is just as cool as Caesar. <laughs> she does a lot of she does a lot of Hallmark movies. Yeah, she did. I like that one that she did where with the prince. I think it was. It's probably the same fucking movie every time. I, I <laughs> not gonna lie, you're the right. Same one. You you, just, you can say one basic plot line. It was probably that one. Bro, the fact that she still she still looks the same too. That's what's crazy. Yeah, she does. So does Amanda Seyfried. True. Like, grown, like Amanda Seyfried looks grown up, but but she still has the same face. And Rachel McAdams. Nah, yeah. Rachel McAdams looks like 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 her age, but like she still looks good though. She's not old. I'm not saying she is old. She's only like what, maybe forty of that. I'm not. I never said she was old. I'm just saying she looks like her age, but she still looks really good. Like, is there something wrong with saying someone looks their age? No. Would you say, but she still looks good? Yeah. Is that? No, that's not him. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> that was just a funny ass scene in the movie. Oh, that shit was 
when they were trying to fucking ca- like get dude caught for fucking cheating and shit, dude, and like all the attempts failed, and then they actually caught the fucking the creepy coach. Why did you click it off? I know that seems what? hilarious. Why did you click it off? I because I'm only playing the couple. I'm only playing. He's short- only playing bits and pieces right now. I'm only playing bits and pieces, man. Yeah, so Mean Girls is a solid 10. I don't give yeah, a Mean Girls is, is, is 10 out of 10. Cult is the top of those uh, white girl movies. It's a cult classic. It's oh, definitely top three. Everybody's seen, everybody's seen Mean Girls. Like That's just a movie anybody has seen. Yes. Also, oh, add, add right She's now. All That to it. Add She's All That to the list. This is when she's giving her the fucking uh, protein bars. See, you know, yes. that was the part I was about to bring up also. Like, when that comes to a head, when she was telling her boyfriend, she was like, man, like, oh, I'm hungry. He's like, oh, man, I hate those things. Coach makers eat those to gain weight. And she started <laughs> screaming. Yeah, because it's like carb-filled bars. <laughs> I don't know why that part always makes me laugh. It's just like such a subtle, like, thing that she just fucked with her. And that was finally when she realized that she was the whole time was just messing with her. I know. Oh man, but that scene where where um uh Janice is like telling telling everybody everything they did to her. Like in the whole group and then she like just like gets just crowd serves off the I stage. Like, I like when she like finally like took her down, but like before like she got like hit by the bus or whatever, like mm-hmm. she just like took her down and all of a sudden Regina's cronies were going towards Katie. Fuck it. Like, she's all, like, she had full intentions of going to Madison, Wisconsin with her fucking family. Like, she had, no, like, and then, her, like, she all, is, all of a sudden is the leader of the the plastics. She's all of a sudden the leader of the plastics. Yeah. And so, like, these, these girls are like, so what are we going to do? And when she, she tells them, I'm like, I'm going to Madison with my parents. Dude. It's something we do all the time. They're like, well, what the fuck? Are They're just looking at her like in desperation. And she's like, well, maybe I can, I can, whatever. And then she talks her parents out of it. She ends up throwing this huge bash when she, what she should have done is gone to Janice's art exhibit. Cause though, like they were technically her real friends or whatever. Although I could say Janice was kind of using her as a new person to infiltrate the group just to fucking get information the fucking shit they talk because she might have actually had a lesbian crush on Rachel Regina, McAdams Regina George but we <laughs> never know because whatever whatever because how shit happened with the, the fucking bingo book I'm saying I hope you got that Naruto reference. I got it. It wasn't funny, but it I got it. Yeah, I didn't get it. So I know you did. I know you didn't, Jake. It it, it's base the bingo book in Naruto is basically a book with like information on ninja and like uh, if a ninja is a run on site or if they're wanted and stuff like that. Yeah, it it's it's basically a public wanted poster of. Every fucking rogue ninja, assassin, fucking whatnot. Man, when Regina let out the entire book to the entire school, she caused the tirade. And then she made herself look like a victim. Dude. Like she called herself fugly. That was great cinematography in that scene right there. Because she just found out that... uh, Katie had fucking just put up this whole fucking scheme, and then she, you think she's writing all this shit about Katie? Yeah, but, but it, no, it's about herself. She posts her fucking picture on there. Oh, I'm like, she is playing 4D oh, chess while they are playing checkers, God, dude. She she is a manipulative genius. She'll make a great cop someday. <laughs> I didn't expect you to say she'll make a quick cop. But yeah, she, that 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 was so good. Uh man. I felt bad for Tina Fey's character because like she had to get like investigated by the cops. 
the movie. movie movie's great. One of yeah. Those, it's a 10 out of 10. Classic. Yeah, it's actually a 12 out of 10. Not going to lie. I'm going to watch it later tonight because I still got it on my DVR. Oh, yeah, dude. Me, I've been watching, I just, I've been me and Tony are still in the middle of watching Mean Girls Part 2. I just been, yeah. I've just been pinned to watching a bunch of like older movies for some reason. Like I watched Back to the Future the other night because it was on. And I recorded it. I was like, oh, dude, shit. Yeah, yeah. Always, always watch Back to the Future because it's on. <sighs> That's just that's just like oh, Back to the Future's on, dude. I still can't get over how he kissed his mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, and he was straight up trying to hold a boner around his mom the whole movie. It's like, bro, D- dude. Amy Poehler in this movie had me cracking up because, like, this is that's not how you picture Amy Poehler as like the cool fucking slutty mom who apparently has a fantastic boob job. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I forgot about that. All right, there. oh my god! Like every like nowadays, everyone pictures Amy Poehler from like when she when she was on SNL with Tina Fey with the uh they did the news they did the weekly update news broadcast and then fucking Parks and Recreation. Yeah, but people forget about this role. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! It's so like like she's always been super hilarious to me, but like seeing her in this type of role, like threw me off completely. Man, this is a Lindsay Lohan before Hollywood really messed her up. Oh, this is when yeah, the I still ma- I still maintain that she. This is when the size. Guy. This is when the size five doesn't fit. I dude. still maintain that this era of Lindsay Lohan will be in a perfect Mary Jane Watson. Oh, dude, I agree. I agree. Yeah, you're right. I mean, around that time, Spider Man was out. We had Chris and Dunn, so I know. So sad. You know what's another good white girl film? A Cinderella story with Hilary Duff. Uh, we forgot to talk about Hilary Duff, did we? Yeah, we That's did. A, um, a Cinderella story with Cinderella Hilary story. Duff in it. Um, forgot to bring up Confessions of a Teenage. Girl, what was it? Or, you know, something like that. Um, yeah. What else is Hillary Duff in? No, that was Lizzie Olhan, the confessions one. Hillary Duff was a similar story. Um, what else? Besides the Lizzie McGuire movie. What's that one? What's that one where the daughter and the mom swap bodies? Oh, Freaky Friday. No. Yeah. Freaky. That is Friday. Freaky Friday. Friday. It okay. is Freaky Friday. I mean, it's, yeah, Lindsay Lohan did a remake of that, but the original was uh like in the eighties or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that would that would, that's a good one right there. There's one with Simon Pegg that I really liked that I forget what it. Paul. Simon no. Pegg, like those <laughs> yes. that British dude. Yeah. Um, is it Man Up? Yeah, it's Man Up. It's um him and this girl. They go. They go into. Uh, he gets set up in a blind date with a girl, and this random girl. She she pretends to be his blind date, and they're kind of just going out through the blind date. Um, she's pretending to be the girl, and they're hitting it off and stuff. And you know, there's always a hitch there, but like in the end, they end up dating. What about um? Just my luck. Just my luck. I don't think I watch that. Lohan and um, Chris Pine. We're basically Lindsay Lohan is somebody who's like super lucky. Like she's ridiculous. Oh, wow! I completely forgot about. I just um, I, I just like watched the pictures. I'm looking at pictures and stuff about this movie. Oh my god! And he takes her luck, right? Yeah, because he is hella unlucky. And yeah. Oh Dang. my god, how did I forget about this? That's crazy. Oh my god, you just you just brought back a crazy memory that was just um in my head. Yeah. Fuck your memories. But a Cinderella story was really good. Stacy Stifler's mom is in it. Um Yeah, Chad Michael Mary's in it too. Stifler's mom is still amazing. 
Regina King is in it too. Am I right or am I wrong? I mean, yeah, she's hilarious. Even even now, she's still hilarious. But shall we talk about the best um, romance comedy of all time? Step up. Step, Step up, dude. I, I think I actually saw that one. I'm not sure. No, I'm no. kidding. But what I really no. wanted to bring up is The Princess Diaries. Yes? No? Huh? I never Princess saw Diaries. Princess Diaries. What, the, what the frick is that, dude? You, you guys Princess have Brian Hathaway? No. Yeah, yes, it's with Anne Hathaway, The Princess oh, Diaries. Yeah. No, I never saw that one. I, what? I don't... I... Don't, I, I I've never seen The Princess Diaries with Anne Hathaway. Bro, you got to watch it. No, I have. I have. Oh, you have? But it's been... It's been so long it's since it came out of 2001. It's been a long time. The second one has Raven Simone in it. Because <laughs> it's like about the time when That's a Raven came out. So, like, you know, they're like we got to put Raven Simone in everything. Yeah, dude. I, I, yeah. I saw. I, I'm pretty sure I saw the first one on a VHS tape, yeah. dude. Like, yeah. That that's that's a that's an eight out of ten for me. And then there's like sixteen candles. That one's really good if you've watched it. Sixteen what? Sixteen, 16 candles. candles. Oh, okay. I like that one. That's an eighties movie. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm a huge <laughs> fan of 80s movies. Like and uh I can I can tell you 80s movies are my jam. Oh oh sh- oh I just, I just like I'm looking at a list of movies and I'm like I remembered one that's really good. Definitely maybe. You guys should watch it. It's basically a story with Ryan, it's Ryan Reynolds is in it and a whole bunch of other people and um he's telling the story to his daughter about how he met his um her mother and I the, remember the, the many different out. women I that he fell in love with. Came out. I never saw it. Bruh, you missed out. It came out when I was a freshman in high school. Dude, because because back then Ryan Reynolds wasn't a name, dude. People still still just knew him as Van Wilder. I mean, even then I enjoyed the fuck out of Van Wilder. <laughs> he was he was back then he was always just Van Wilder. Like he wasn't Ryan Reynolds, you know, like how he is today. He was, he was Van Wilder. I hate you so much, but you should watch it. I'll make you a full list of movies that you should watch that are really good. Dude, I'm all for it. I'm totally all for it. Oh, the bend and snap. I just saw like the video right here. <laughs> the bended snap. But yeah, I think. Oh, another one that's really good. My big fat Greek wedding. I Have was going to bring that one up earlier, actually. You know, oh, you were. Fact. Fun yeah. fact. Fun fact: There's a character from Degrassi that was on that movie. She played the lunch lady. Her name was Sheila, and she was in that. Just wow. Fun fact. And I think that's why. She didn't come back to the grass because she got that role in that movie, something like that. They probably paid the same amount as it would be to be in the grassy. I mean, millions. I know they paid their actors four million an episode now, but not back then. No, they didn't pay them that. Not even now. <laughs> so what? They're, is- they're not that rich. You lied to me, then. The small Canadian show. What kind of money you think they got? That's what I'm saying. Like a small role in the movie is probably the same as as a reoccurring role in a small TV show. No, you, yeah. you would you would see more actors fucking doing TV than instead of fucking doing waiting out for a fucking movie role. Unless they have a guaranteed movie role, like you have like. No, did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said though? What did I say, Timon? You said that a reoccurring role in a TV show should pay out the same as a fucking high-grossing movie role. That is not what I said. That is exactly what you said. No. 
I said for her, that scene, that like reoccurring role in that small TV show is probably paying her the same as her small role in that film. It's because of the fact that it was a small TV show that barely paid much. I'm going to shoot you. Hey, so in, we the fucking pink toe. In, in the pinky yeah. toe. Yes, we are wrapping it up. Last one is Heather's. Yeah. You should watch Heather's. Heather's is great. Jawbreaker. Any any recommendations? Final recommendations you guys would recommend? Jawbreaker. We... Fucking hate you. How about you? Um, that was Aquaman. a real suggestion. I was going to say Aquamarine. <laughs> Aquamarine. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, brief conversation about about um, chick flick movies or white woman films. Um, but thank you. And have a good one. Make sure to follow uh, the Wiener cast on uh, Twitch and um, YouTube. And follow us on all our social medias. We have a whole bunch of stuff going on. We also have a Twitch where we play video games and stuff. Uh, Just and- to reiterate, we do not own Bridesmaids. We do not own Mean Girls. We do not own Sleepover. None of those movies. No Correct. part of that. The moon, we saw, we None of the clips. movies I've played clips of. We don't own Alexa Vega um, skateboarding and doing a kickflip in Sleepover. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching and listening. Bye. I don't even know what movie I'm playing right now. Oh, I'm playing Mean Girls right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>